Alright. Um, that was weird. Um, as you notice, yes, my ears are larger. I had inch and a quarter last time with massive gaps. But, um, they seem to have stretched no problem. I don't know, they don't really hurt or was much of a struggle or anything like that, so. Seems like it's far as it's actually gonna do it itself, though, so I think I have to tape the rest of the way up back to inch and five eighths. So, I'll be stuck doing that. And the procedures I said I'm gonna be have done. I don't know whenever I'm gonna have that done. I don't like to go ahead and say, oh, this is gonna be done this day, because it never happens like that, ever. Shit happens. But I will be stretching my septum whenever. I don't know. Have time tomorrow? Maybe. I don't know. I'm off tomorrow. It's New Year's Eve. And I might just. I don't know. Do whatever. It's really weird what to say with these videos. I don't know. I just thought I'd tell you guys that I'm an inch and a half again. For like the 40th time, probably. <sighs> I've been at this size for the longest time before that. I'm sick and tired of it. <laughs> uh, I have a short attention span for things, so that's why you're stretching is just like, eh, fuck. For me, anyway. <sighs> Thought I'd make a video before I went to sleep. Working third shift blows. Oh, and I guess whenever I get my septum stretched, I'll go ahead and get my lip done at a six. And I won't be, won't be getting any more piercings for a while. It's not like I'm getting anything that's actually a project. Because right now the only projects I have are my ears, my septum going to be my lip, and that's it. It's my ears, I just... Pretty much got a half inch left before I'm done. And I was an inch and a half, or inch and five eighths. So I was like 10 millimeters away from being done. And, you know, that would take like maybe a year, year and a half to do that. And then I have my septum to work on. Which, um, I have no idea where I want to stop with that. I was thinking maybe a zero. Oh yeah, I forgot. Uh, I'm not done with these with these guys either. Uh, zero gauge conch. Uh, I honestly would like to go to seven sixteenths if plausible, but stretching the cartilage sucks ass. I tried a tape method and for some reason uh, my cartilage is not like that whatsoever. I do not know why. It gets irritated. And, um... I've just been tapering it here lately, and I've had okay luck with that, but I don't think I want to taper anything past a zero. Because I don't want to, like, crack my shit open and stuff, so I want to slowly stretch out to 11 millimeters. And then, um, my lip half inch, guaranteed, maybe, I like how I say maybe, um, that's body modification for you. No determined goals ever in life, ever. I've learned this. Never plan a goal size, because you don't even know if you're going to stay at it. Because it's ridiculous. That's what you said about your ears. <laughs> I'm gonna stop at a zero. You don't. Unless you're really actually dedicated to going to a zero, then maybe you're not as into it as you thought you were. I don't know. I just known people that just stretch your ears to zero and then take them out anyway. And say, oh, I've just, just say that I've done it. Which is a waste of money and a waste of time. 
You have to go through the pain of that shit. You got people that actually just do it to do it. Because I love it. <laughs> or you just get the people that get addicted. I got addicted. It's like drugs. Yeah, it's better than math. Alright, it's getting weird now. Um, and comment, rate, subscribe, whatever. Do whatever you want to. Because, I don't know, I can't make you do anything, but it's all freedom of choice. So, so I'll see you guys later. Bye!